Tuesday, on a Wednesday night, and I said, well, we'll do this, which is this, on Friday, that's beautiful, is that, so, hmm, I don't think I actually like my needles, but I always buy it because of this fact that it's rainbows. Um, I am the person who buys rainbow themed food. I buy Skittles, rainbow dust, and rainbow drops, and I don't like any of them. Because I'm cool. Oh, yeah. Um. To the questions, if you had to date anyone out of Rainbow and Veins, who would you date? I would date as Claus because I like her because she's nice and cast very lovely and don't want to cast quite a lot. And um, and she's quite nice looking and, and wonderfully magical. She's quite, yeah. And um, we've had conversations, and I'm going to, um, I'm going to make noodle cookies. I'm going to live in a house and I'm going to make noodle cookies and I'm not quite sure what noodle cookies are. But I'm making them. And it will be good. So yes, I would date the cow. If I like the cow, I'd date the cow. Quite, quite a bit. Quite a bit, yeah. Okay, now that I've stumbled my way through that question. Um, yeah. Um, okay, next question. What do you think of camp gay guys and butch lesbians and stereotypes? Um, I think stereotypes can be quite bad because, say, if someone's kind of trying to come to terms with their sexuality and they think that all guys are gay and they really can, or all lesbian people are man butch and lesbian, then it might be a bit more problematic. I don't want to be that. I don't want to. No. Um, I don't think. Your know, sexuality, you know, has any kind of set on who you are as a person. Having said that, I don't have a problem with um, gay eyes or butch lesbians because well, I think they're pretty fucking awesome. Um, although, I feel a bit bad because, like, there's this guy at my school who's really camp and he's gay. Um, he gets like loads of girls, and it's like that's very nice, but he can't do anything with them, can he? He doesn't need to use them, you know? He won't swarm me, you know? Like men, leave them alone. <sighs> um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go on to the next question. If I had three wishes, well, I would probably wish to be, I'd either wish because here for me to Southampton would be 
be one of my wishes. I'm not just kind of one of her wishes as well, but maybe if two people wish, it might happen. But we've told you now, so probably that's not that's how wishes work, isn't it? Oh god. <sighs> Second wish. Um, I did not think this far. Well, I quite like some relentless right now. Some nice kind of relentless. Nice to drink. I'm a bit thirsty and I like relentless, so that's one of my wishes, one of my awful, awful wishes. Um, another wish, another wish, another wish. Um, I wish I could talk to people better, um, because I suck at that quite a lot, and I can't really, I'm not very good at talking to people that I don't know, or what. I'm good at, I can talk to people I don't know, but I can't really talk to people that, like, people I go to school with, if I haven't talked to you, it's very difficult for me to, because I know that you're going to be there every day, or through the end of this year and next year, and that, you know, I don't, if you find me weird, I don't want that, so, yeah. I wish I was better at talking to people. And I wish. Yeah, those are my wishes. The second one sucks. But the first one is pretty good. So, to. Um, I should go. Yeah, so. I would sleep. Cows. Stereotypes can be damaging, but can and butch. People are awesome, and I would wish. Yeah, those wishes you just heard. I'm gonna go because this is too long, and I have rambled, and I'm sorry for failing at this video. Okay.